All right, so now uh, we're going to meet another couple that took a different route to get out of the red. Please welcome Leo and Faith. <laughs> so, Faith, yes. did you know that Leo was in debt before you married him? I did. However, I had a lot more debt than what he had. And so I actually took out an additional $8,000 from Sally Mae in order to fund my lifestyle while I was in school. And when we got married, we, together, we had $212,000 of debt. Really? Yes. So, Leo, when, when did you know you were in trouble? Uh, well, we talked to our uh, counts, uh, pastors about um, premarital counseling, and they asked us to talk about what the purpose of our marriage was. And when we went back and discussed it, we wanted to be a family that gave, and we wanted to have a big family of six children. And the biggest thing standing in our way was our debt. OK, so, Lynn. How, how much should a couple save before they plan to start a family? Well, if you're gonna have six children, you need to save a whole lot of money. <laughs> because let me tell you something, children have to eat every single day. There's no days off. They have to eat every single day. <laughs> and if I had six kids, some would eat on Mondays and Wednesdays, and the others <laughs> would eat on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Because I just can't feed that many people every day. And on your day off, you'd have to lie, pray, or steal. I don't know. But <laughs> what you have to do, though, seriously, is be strategic. Save every single penny you can. Y'all made some lifestyle changes. Mm -hmm. And you all wind up saving $104,221. How did you do that? Yeah, so we have a very strict budget that we refuse to compromise on. Yes. Um, we uh, decided that we were going to carpool with one another to work. Yes. Um, and oh, so with each other. With each other, yeah. And so we've saved actually around $2,000 a year for gas by carpooling. Yes, uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> so we pack our lunches every single day. And we have been able to save about $3,000 a year from yes. packing our lunches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We do not eat out, rarely ever eat out. Um, Leo actually has a really old iPhone. He has the iPhone 5S. Yeah. And that it costs us about $22 a month. Mm -hmm. And we don't have any cable. We actually have an antenna that we use, so we don't have a cable bill. Wow. I love it. Yeah. That's he, pretty good. Here's another thing. When I was rebuilding, after losing everything and sticking to a strict budget, I paid all my bills one day out of the month. That's 12 days out of the year that money goes out. And that meant there were 353 days that I had to focus on it coming in. OK, so let me ask you two something. You've, you've done this budgeting, which is, like, amazing, and I commend you for it. Mm -hmm. do, do you have a plan to just make some more money? Yes. So we work five jobs between the two of us. Amen. We have our two primary jobs. Amen. And we have three side jobs that we do. Yes. Multiple streams really? of income. Yes. So... Faith babysits, and she also works overnight taking care of newborns. And I pick up jobs at the hospital and work almost every Saturday and almost every holiday. And between our side jobs, in nine months, we've been able to um, pay off or earn $51,000 from side jobs alone. That we put straight towards debt. Yeah. Like, yes. we didn't pocket any of that. So outside of our tithes, yes. outside of our taxes, we paid all the rest of it yeah. towards our outside debt. Outside of what now? Our tithing and oh, then taxes. Oh, yeah. 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 So, Darius and Elizabeth, how, how does something like this sound to you? Sounds good, and we're going to do it. It's way harder to be poor yes. than it is to be successful. It, it's just harder. I, I've had it. I, I, I had a condition. I had, went to the doctor, and I couldn't figure out. I was always, I was, my inner thighs and outer legs and back was always itching. I went to the doctor. I thought it was stress. Couldn't nobody tell me nothing. And I finally figured it out myself. I was allergic to poverty. <laughs> I was just sitting up. You ever sitting up just be digging? Yeah. <laughs> you, I'm telling you right now. Yeah. I'm going to tell y'all something, man. Congratulations for what you've done. Thank That's you. beautiful. Congratulations for taking new steps to yes. get yourself together, save your family, get your house back. If you bought a house one time, you had a great job, it ain't, ain't, it no one, ain't no way you can't do it again. Right. You can do it again. I wish you all the best. Thank you, Thank you all for coming. <laughs> hey, special thanks to my buddy, Lynn Richardson, everybody. Hey, I'm Steve Harvey. You want more of that? Well, don't just sit there. Go get it. Press subscribe or click on this list and you can see all the amazing videos you want. Press it.
press it.